Okay, let's start with accounting safety. The most important thing for me is how you make sure that everything will be okay with the account, how the tracking will be uploaded, how the returns will be handled, how the communication with the clients will be handled, time for response, emergency situation and stuff like this. Because I used to make SBM, not dropshipping, but SBM with uh, real products from United States with local fulfillment center. And I, I had problems with the fulfillment center. So, I mean, with the American fulfillment center and stuff like this. I mean, they, they, they wasn't so, they actually was late. They didn't fulfill the, the shipping time and the handling time correctly. So I had problems several times. Not, they didn't restrict my account, but I have warnings about this. And this was with FBM locally situated in the United States and stuff like this. So this is the first part. Just please explain me how this, how this, how this, how everything is working properly. Okay, let's, let's start from some, somewhere. So, uh, from where to start some? How you ship the orders, how you return them? Mr. Stanislav's first priority is how we maintain the account. Okay, it, it, it is his first question and first concern. And second concern is uh, like how the like account will be managed. Like return, refund, uh, cancellation and balance update. How we are going to manage? Am I correct Mr. Stanislav? Yes, yes, you're correct. Okay, so first uh, let's talk about your account. Okay, as we discussed earlier and we already put in the video that we only work through commission based. Okay, we are not uh, taking any salary. So you, under, you can understand easily that if we are not able to keep your account good, we are not going to get profit every single month. Okay. This is both, in this point we both are in a win-win situation. If we work, I will get money. If we make profit, then I will make, make profit my, for myself. Is that correct? Yes, it's logical. It's correct. Yes. And uh, about account health. So far we are working with uh, several clients. Yes, I am not ignoring anything. As a human being, we also made mistakes. But that's, that does not mean that it will hamper your account. Let's say uh, sometimes uh, like there is late shipping, but it's not it's not above than four percent as Amazon mentioned. Okay, and also everything will be under uh, you know in under a situation. Uh, if you want to see, I can share my couple of accounts to make you understand that uh, whether we how we taking care of the accounts. Okay. Uh, you will be interested to see it? Hey God. Yes, yes, I am interested. Okay, let me open. See, this is one of our client account. If I go into account health, you can see there is a different rate of 0.05%, correct? Okay, okay, that's good. That's very and, good. And uh, so far we receive around 5,543 orders in maybe one or two months. Okay. Very good. Very good. And we are properly doing dropshipping from Amazon. Okay. And uh, okay, I'm I'm going to show you another very new account. This account has no feedback. See, this is a pretty new account. If you're going to check the feedback, mm -hmm. uh, see there is no feedback in this account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we still able to sell in this account and we are uh, maturing this account. Okay, we, we just uh, received this account uh, maybe one week and as it is new account, uh, our target is to bring at least, you know, uh, $2,000 sales in a month for first two, three months to make some sales history to make Amazon sure that we are doing a good business. Okay, and also we are taking care about the policy compliance. You know, uh, as a new VA, I mean, the VAs who are new uh, who don't have enough experience, 
they always create uh, you know this uh, policy compliance okay but as i show you a big account there is a no policy compliance and uh, yeah and if i going to say this account maybe this account has earlier one compliance it will take 60 days to remove might be and uh, See, this account has one intellectual property compliance, okay, mm -hmm. which when we receive that account, it has there already, okay. Uh -huh, okay. But when we started, you can see that we receive around uh, 120 orders mm -hmm. in one month, okay. And you can see here, there is no defected rather than that. So every client we always keep uh, give priority to our clients because we are not uh, you know one person working on those accounts. We are forty people team. We are working on uh, under supervision of Mr. Vita and uh, also with a lot of experts. And we use uh, we always uh, looking for feedback from the clients. Uh, let me show you. How many feedbacks we received in like last week? Okay, because feedback is most important uh, for us also. You can see how many feedback we received. Okay. So you okay? Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, I like what what you show me. This is this is. Uh, shows that you really understand what uh, account uh, health means so this is good i mean i like it uh, i mean just to clarify you you use uh, supplier local supplier from uh, from united states no okay we are using amazon business prime for this drop shipping aha okay Okay, but okay, this is little bit okay. This is little bit uh, against the Amazon policy, you know. Yes, <laughs> actually, we always uh, we already tried several suppliers, but uh, you know what is the problem there? When they receive different package, that is the customer concern that I receive a package, but it comes with Walmart. Mm -hmm. it's, Oh, sorry, it comes with Walmart branding or it comes with uh, Home Depot branding or maybe Sam's Club branding. Okay, but if, while we are using Amazon Business Prime, okay, this is not going to happen because when customer receives the product, they um, they able to see there is a Amazon written. It's no matter uh, what is Business Prime or what is the normal Amazon. So mm -hmm. people. People only know Amazon. If you do a, I mean, if you check yourself, uh, you're not able to check always that uh, what does mean business prime or something else. Because as a normal people, you order something from Amazon side and you receive a product with Amazon uh, packet. So it's uh, satisfactory to you. Okay. If I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, this, this is good. I mean, um, what about the trackings? Uh, are they uh, okay with the Amazon uh, local trackings? I mean, I never used, never used to do this. So. Okay, good question. So, we are using two types of uh, tracking service. Uh, one is uh, called uh, Get More Tracking and another one is Way Genius. Okay, I think my screen is still uh, shared with you, correct? Uh, so you uh, just uh, just to get getting clear, you use some kind of uh, software to generate tracking. That, that's correct. So this is one of the software. Okay. Uh, my tracking. So if you see that, uh, those are the trackings we are using. Okay. And if you check here, here is their plan. Okay. Okay. Correct. Uh, and also there is another one. It's called OA Genius. If you 
check here. Let's say for one thousand, they asked for one eighty-seven dollar. Whether this one is less? Okay, seventy-nine, eighty dollar for thousand train. I mean, this working. I mean, this 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 is working. This is it doesn't matter how much that is cost. The the point is that it's working. Yes. But if we receive only the Amazon tracking, Amazon local tracking, which start with TBA. Yeah, they recently start using this more often. So yeah, this. Yeah, uh, only that time we we replace this tracking with this fake tracking. Otherwise, okay. if we receive USPS or FedEx or maybe UPS, yeah, then yeah. we use that one. Are you are you doing it manually or you just do it automatically? No, no, no. Everything will we will do manually. That's great. Also, this basically explains how the return works and how the stuff like this. Because yeah, once you have return, you use the the label from Amazon and you yes. Return. So you're going to use only only Amazon business as a supplier. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Let's uh, actually explain a lot of stuff. Only one question. Do you have someone who answer customer questions? Uh, yeah, actually, we will do everything in automation. Uh, you do not the... have to. Yeah, you do not have to worry. So let's suppose you receive like uh, you know uh, uh, like 300 orders today. So you might be worried about that. Okay, how it could be solved because that's a huge orders. It's not FBA like uh, Amazon will taking care. I need to go to sleep. But uh, also in uh, our scenario, our not even single client has worried point because everything will be always in under control and we are taking care of everything. Are you going to use some kind of templates when you answer the the customer's question? Because this is uh, no, actually we do never use any kind of template. We always reply to customer according to their questions with polite manner. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> This sounds good. I hope it's, it's true. Um, I mean, no. Uh, if you want to see, I can show you my some messages also. Okay, please. This is not. Okay, please show me some messages. And also, yeah. uh, what kind of shipping policy do you do you uh, set in the account? Give <laughs> me a second. First, let me go through with uh, the messages. Okay. Okay. Let me show these messages. Mm-hmm. See. Uh -huh. Okay. See. Okay. 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 Don't see the text. So they is this uh, happen uh, often? Mm -hmm. I mean, see, this is not a small account. Uh, actually, uh, how can I explain? Okay, uh, let let me show you their reports. Then you will be able to understand. It's it's in, interesting to know the the ratio. I mean, between orders and uh, yes uh, questions. Yeah, see, we are, we started in I think in December first maybe. Okay. See Ooh. how many orders. Wow, this is quite a lot, man. Nice, I like it. So so you can understand where you have five thousand five hundred orders. There you can expect uh, at least daily ten to fifteen messages. This is uh, something natural. Yeah. yeah, I know, and that's why it was interesting for me. What about the shipping policy? Just, just quick. Uh... Uh, no, we are creating a shipping template. Okay. Uh, Let me. Yeah. Okay. Just show me how, how it's set. Uh, no, actually, this is something. Uh, after getting the account, we need to first check something like how much percentage we have able to win the buy box. Okay. So there is something uh, like which our poor experience. I, 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 my account is. Uh, I mean, it's very old. Eh? Not so tall, but yeah, it has had feedback. It's 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 able to win the the buy box. I mean. Okay, so let's talk about the shipping template. Okay. 
you know amazon business prime uh, shipping their products uh, like in uh, next day or next two days this is their uh, basic template but what we did we always keep two to three days handling days okay, okay? and uh, next two days for the delivery day. sometimes what happen let's suppose uh, that uh, the item is out of stock okay mm -hmm. then what we can do we just keep we can wait for next couple of days like two days or maybe three days mm -hmm. okay once we fulfill the order then we you know uh, ship the item with fake tracking okay and uh, and uh, if customer raised that uh, question that after five days we did not receive the item, okay, then we make some applies and asking them for wait one or two more days, which generally customer do. And in that meantime, they already receive the product. Okay, this is the good point. And another thing is that if item is in stock, okay, and we fulfill the order in very first day. However, we have five days to ship the I mean deliver the item. Okay, but customer received the item in two days rather than waiting five days. Okay, yeah. so they leave their review. We receive the product uh, before the delivery date. It's amazing, and they leave their positive feedback, which help us to increase the store for score. In case uh, if the item is not uh, let's say available for a long time and you can't order the item, so how you proceed uh, with? Order cancellation if this is uh, necessary. Okay. Uh, in that case, we always drop message to the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first, we need to ship the item. That's for sure. If it's out of stock. Mm -hmm. But you ship it. Uh, let's say if you fake it. You fake it. You ship. You make fake yes, ship. We, yes. Yes. We use fake uh, tracking to ship the item. Mm -hmm. But still, customer uh, did not receive the item, so he will raise the question. Okay, where is my stuff? So again, you know, the scenario is we need to make some applies and uh, we can say them, okay, let me refund you full amount. And if you receive the item, please keep it. It's, it's from our store, if something like that. Okay, because we, we actually we know that we did not ship the item. And you know, the, I'm not sure how long you are on, in Amazon, but most interesting part in this Amazon, we always uh, see that 10 to 15 percent customer never ask for. Uh, I mean, they forget the, about their orders. Yeah, I know. I know this happens, but yes, yeah, sometimes. But you have customers who, who remember. But yeah, this this was my idea. So you you basically put a fake tracking, which is real, and uh, and you just uh, wait for the customer reaction and proceed from there. Yes, if customer did not refund, then that will be a no hundred percent problem. I think you have a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent uh, way of doing the, the things. So. See, we are still working with account more than six months in one account, and still doing dropship. And uh, I just talked to my client yesterday that what is your profit in last three months? Okay. Uh, see, this is the very personal things, but uh, however, I'm 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 showing you. Okay, you can you can see here. Yeah, top top. This is very nice. See, uh, he, he made around 40k profit in last three months. Yeah, this it's awesome. It's awesome that result. Okay. Uh, the next thing, the next thing is what kind of percents of profits do you work with? Uh, I mean, uh, see, uh, there is a several method we are working. Okay. Uh, let me let me go one by one. <coughs> Uh, see, this is one of those scenario. You can see client invested around forty three thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is, there was sales around sixty six thousand, and the uh, clean profit is around thirteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can check here because all of those are the scenario, and you can see that to increase the profit, we always took refunds from Amazon Business Prime. It's written over here. You can see refund from AMG. That means we took the refund from Amazon. 
Mm-hmm. But why? Uh, it, it wasn't delivered or you just took the refund? Uh, no, sometimes, uh, see, we always need to keep our client happy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So why client will be stay happy? If he see that we are working good, if, if he able to see that we are making good uh, profit for him. So that's up to, that's why he will work with us, correct? Because we are depend on each other. So this account, Amazon Business Prime, one of my client's account, and he used to took it rare. Okay. okay. That means he don't have Amazon Business Prime account. Okay. So he using one of those service, and that service cost him one fifty dollar for three days. The account you use is your your account. That's, that's right. The business prime. Yeah, it's, it's your account. Uh, no, it's actually not my account. It's a service provider. Ah, okay. We have a we have a bonding with them. Okay. We have a tie. Okay. So they <coughs> sorry they charge us one fifty dollar for oh. three to four days. Uh-huh. Okay. You to keep the account. Sorry. You rent the business account for so, from somebody. Yes, from somebody for one fifty dollar for three to four days. Okay, and let's suppose in four days we make around. Uh, let's say uh, I'm just uh, talking about gross scenario. Let's say we make around uh, ten thousand dollars sales in four days. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know, in four thousand dollar, let's suppose we make around ten to fifteen percent profit. Let's suppose fifteen percent profit. Okay. Okay. So what will be the amount here? So if we sell ten thousand and uh, let's suppose it's a fifteen percent uh, ROI, okay? So it will be you know one thousand five hundred. Okay. But again, here uh, you, 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 as you as our client rented this business plan, so you need to pay one fifty dollar, correct? Uh huh. So what we did rather than uh, like losing client money, we took refund from Amazon. And you, you know, you one fifty two hundred dollar you can easily to refund. Mm-hmm. See, this is this is the one item which cost fifty nine. Okay, we took the refund, which is twenty four dollars. Actually, the tax the tax for your um, for for renting this account is first fifteen percent from the from the not fifteen fifty fifty percent from the profit. Yes. Ah, okay, it's okay. normal. It's it's a automation service. You don't need to do anything. They list, they serve the clients, they do the problems, they reopen accounts, they take the refunds, they do the customer supports. Uh, it is fifty, not fifteen. This this is uh, this is your profit or this is profit for somebody else? Uh, what you mean? You have thirty thousand dollars sales this month. The profit is ten thousand dollars, and you pay. Five thousand to the service. Okay. Uh, the responsibility of the customer is only to take the money into the card uh, and to have the account with the LLC. This is what we need to start working. And we take the money after the finish the the work. So uh, if you yeah. have results, only only that uh, from your profit, of course. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I, I understand it. Uh, we have to share the profit. I mean, that's it. I, I yes, was, I was. Uh, my question was related: is is the Amazon account which we rent should be paid separately from this money, or it's included in the price? Well, you mean about the taxes in Amazon, right? Um, or no, no, he is not uh, talking about taxes from the uh, Amazon account. Uh, we was discussing about Amazon Business Prime renting. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You have to pay separately, but uh, at the end of the month, you will have that money. You do not have to worry about that money. And my question was, how much money I have to pay per month? It depends from the turnover or from the sales. Yes. Most of the clients uh, start with around ten thousand dollars. If they are not with new accounts, can start with more. Uh, but new clients start with ten thousand dollars. And you know how often Amazon pay. It depends. But uh, our work to do the job for one client 
is almost similar to do it with $10,000 budget and with uh, $2,000. We need to do the same conversation, same account, same listings. Most of the work is same and same research. And, and because of that, we have a, we don't have a maximum amount that you can spend, but we have a minimum amount and it is uh, $10,000 to have at least because uh, we need to uh, do a good job to and a lot of sales to take good profits. So uh, in this situation, if if you start with $1,000 and we sell them two times this month because you receive money every 14 days, so your total amount of profit will be $300 and we will work all month for a hundred bucks. I, I don't think that this is enough. You need to pay for the LLC, for the address, yeah. for the Amazon account. Completely, it's not have any sense here. Yeah, so I completely understand this. I mean, my, my question was only related to uh, the tax for uh, renting the Amazon business account. And uh, yes, this, uh, this is not a profit. So yeah. if we have a uh, let me explain. If we have ten thousand dollars in sales this month, ten ten thousand, uh, and uh, we deduct seven thousand, an example to order the items, right? They are they are not profit. They are ex expenses. Then we have three thousand. Of this three thousand, uh, we we deduct from there the Amazon taxes, uh, the Amazon account, and every other tax that you need to pay from your side to have your account and after we do that this is the clean profit after we do that and you pay only the rest a half of the rest so all expenses are included before you, you send the profit okay one more question one more question regarding the, the profit so have you calculated the corporate uh, corporate tax because all the, all the Yes, we have two different type of clients. One of them are with stealth accounts and we don't calculate anything there because they didn't pay anything. But in your in your situation, yeah, we will deduct we will deduct from the total amount the corporate tax. Let me explain. In normal situation you have two thousand dollars profit, right? You pay you pay to us one thousand. And this is expense for you because you receive invoice for that service. If, so if I can receive invoice from Of from course. Apple, from of course Apple. man, you will receive invoice from every payment that you made. You you send us $3000 for uh, orders after your balance going close to zero, you pay us again. You receive invoice for that products every time from our site and after one month you have two thousand dollars profit this is after the taxes in amazon after the payment for the uh, every item and etc etc and you have two thousand dollars and we give you invoice for one thousand we pay the taxes for that because this is income for our llc and uh, it is actually expenses for your llc we pay our taxes you pay your taxes this is the regular situation here Yes, yes. Yeah, so that is the situation. That's, that's this was also a question that was uh, on my mind uh, for later, but you will be so able to answer it. So yes, yeah, that's that's my idea. If you so if you uh, give me uh, an invoice from your company, as a result, it will be expense and this uh, won't be calculated corporate tax. I mean, it shouldn't be included in the corporate tax. Yes, of course, and and also uh, also. Uh, most of our clients didn't use LLC. They they are somewhere in the world. They do personal accounts, stilt accounts. Uh, they do a lot of shits. But from our side, we do always invoice because I'm LLC here and yeah. you send me a thousand bucks. I need to give you the invoice. This is my responsibility. Yeah, I know. I know. It, but it's not your responsibility to know am I legal or not, right? Because if you give me invoice, so my my accountant will not be able, and this is not our responsibility to know, is your LLC correct? Is your LLC uh, pay the taxes or is there have any business license? So the normal situation here is that you receive document for everything that you buy and we don't care 
Are you having business? Are you paying your taxes? Uh, you, you can say I'm with Stealth account. It's not problem for me. It's problem for you because I pay my taxes. I give you invoice. And at, at the end, we, we are correct with you. So uh, it depends from you how you will do the, the rest from your business because it's, it's not our job to know are you legal there or are you not. If you, we do this personal Bulgarian to Bulgarian, you know, uh, our NAP service will check your firm and will say, okay, this firm is not existing. But in our situation, uh, I give you invoice from USA, you send money to USA and you receive invoice whatever you are in the world and nobody care. Okay, okay, that's great. So uh, let's just, uh, I think we can, this is, this, this is uh, pretty much clear, I mean, regarding the, the, the profit calculation. So only the only thing that I will require is just to send me a, let's say, a table, um, to share me a spreadsheet, uh, how you calculate, how you calculate the, the, the profit just okay. to make sure everything is, is clear and set. Yes, uh, Sam, can you show him how how it's looking, the screenshot with the orders? And we also have one other thing for now, but I can't guarantee that it will be working after three months, you know. Uh, we have 15% discount from Walmart orders. It's hard, clear, 15% from everything that we order. And we also split this with our clients. So. If we buy from Walmart $10,000 this month, we will buy them for $8.50. So we will split the $1,500 with you. Of course, we cannot say this to our clients, but we do this with all of them. So uh, all the orders from Walmart are with 15% discount and you receive, of course, 50% from, 50 from the profit there. Okay. Uh, and one more thing about the, the sales tax, uh, is it going to be included or it, because I have a sales certificate and stuff like this uh, for the company? When we do the orders, some of our ac accounts are not tax exempt. So uh, it depends from the, is it is it with or without? If we pay it, we will put the invoice and you will see. If we don't pay it, you will see that we don't pay it, so you will not uh, be charged also. So it, it depends from, we, we, we try to be clean. This account is uh, is stilt or is uh, it's not stilt, I mean this one? Yeah, it's not stilt at all. Okay. Uh, see, this is the purchase cost. Mm -hmm. This is Amazon fees, 15% of selling price. Yes. So. If we add this to amount, it will be 10.42 dollars. And this is our sales price, 12.60 in Amazon. And this is our clean cost. Okay, okay, great. And we also can give you the document for every order that we do. Normally we don't do this. We don't put this into the table. But uh, to be clear with you, you can say, okay, show me these five orders and we can give you the invoice for them just to be sure that we don't uh, cheat. See, um, Okay, let me clear you. Always client give us their statement, credit statement, if we are going to use their credit card. Okay, you can see that how many credit statements are over here. Let me go only one because we started working over this credit statement. Okay, as you can see, we use this credit card on uh, 9th of December, okay, for Amazon purchase. This is the amount. This is the client seller account order, and okay. this is the order which we purchase. I mean, what the amount we charge. So this is the order number. You will have the email access. You can log into that Amazon account. And yeah, you can check everything pay. yourself also. Yes, of course. Uh, see the the final the final um target to our service is not to blame someone to take some extra money you know how most people in bulgaria works every actually our yeah. final destination needs to be uh, happy clients because our service is with 40 40 people currently and we need to pay them and our our target is every client to be long term to be happy and to receive good quality of the service so it's always have a risk. You can start today and they can stop you tomorrow. I can't guarantee, I'm not Jeff Bezos, but 
from our side, we can try to do our best always to serve to the clients. And first priority is client to be happy with the service, to receive good profit and to be long term with us. Of course, we have a lot of clients that uh, a lot of clients that didn't pay us. We have a lot of clients that take the accounts uh, we was having in the past, someone that uh, we find items for FBA. He didn't pay anything. Now he has good account to FBA and he reject our, uh, he revoke our access. And now uh, we don't receive anything for our work, but be, we, we learn from our mistakes. So now uh, we don't have clients that have negative balance. In the past, I was serving clients with my money from my pocket through three, four thousand because they didn't reply. And I say, okay, let, let, we will pay for that orders. It's not a problem. But at the end, they didn't pay us. They revoke the access and they blame us with four five thousand dollars plus the profit for the month. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so okay. you know, it's, it's full with the cheaters and I want okay. to grow in future. And only one way to grow in every business is to be honest with the people. I, I will not be rich if I take two dollars from some order. It's not something very good. So we put all the refunds in the, in, 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 in we, we show all the refunds to the clients, we deduct them. We also put uh, all the lost items or everything that it happened actually. We can miss something, of course, we are humans, but you can check it from your side to be sure that everything is correct. If some miss something, I uh, this is the only person in the world that never blame me. We work from seven years and I will continue to work with him till I can work in this job. It this is uh, this is good good quality. I like I like this. I I appreciate that you share this with with, with me. I mean, um, I really really share the same uh, values in business. So uh, that's uh, that's great to to hear this uh, transparency and this uh, way to work in and be uh, let's say honest with the. Uh, with the partners, so yeah, that's that's great also. Uh, okay, 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 guys. Thank you, thank you for this information. So as I mentioned, so we can you can just just send me link with this with this table. I mean, I mean, just a, uh, a spreadsheet with no data inside. I mean, just to one one test, uh, you know, uh, uh, order just to see how how the things will be calculated uh, on my end. Uh, okay. Just to include uh, the the tax, the, the the correct corporate tax and stuff like this, and uh, I think we can uh, we can set up uh, I don't know uh, the, the the next step how to start uh, uh, making uh, drop shipping sales on my account. I mean, if you if you okay also. Yeah, we are okay. We are always okay. Uh, also, you are some of the bigger biggest sellers in, from Bulgaria. And uh, I know that you have experience and to be honest, I'm a little bit. Hmm? Just to mention, Seto, sorry. Uh, I mean, I can, uh, I can, I have a, a TransferWise account. Okay. I can send you and pay the invoices for your services through uh, TransferWise to any bank account in United States, I think, or even outside United States, but I think in, you have United States bank account. Yeah, of course. So this is just one thing uh, I needed to mention. So yeah, just just sorry about just just to, to well, no, uh, it's not a problem, man. You can pay with transferwise even in Bulgaria. I can give you the invoice from Bulgaria, never see. It's not a problem. So let me clear with something before we we finish. It's it's not a problem. Uh, I usually made 15 minutes free consultations, but now you wait me 10 days, and I'm really sorry. As I I told you, I am. A little bit worried because of you, because you are a bigger, bigger seller, small, a bigger seller. Most of our clients are from Bulgaria are small. They didn't know what to do. They didn't understand what we explain. And you have very, very targeted questions, very clear questions. And because of that, is it possible if I cut everything you, you are not on the camera and something to share this video with, with people, just it will be much more easy for me to explain them how 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 our services works then to explain them one by one because most of them them uh, even they did did not know what to ask here so i i can't answer to somebody that not have any questions 
look, uh, so we, we can we can make separate video uh, with you if you want. No, no, I, I think that this in Skype is enough. I, I didn't have a time to record separated videos. We can make in future something with the results or something if you want. I know that you don't care about the cameras. Because of that, I asking you, I, I will never publish something without agreement of the other person. It's it's not normal. You can, you can share it, no problem. You can share okay, it. thank you because of, uh, about that. And my suggestion here is because I know that you have FBA business in Amazon. Yes, yes. Uh, if it's working good to do a separate account, because my opinion here is uh, to not risk your already created stable business. It's, it has a risk to suspend your account for two weeks. You will not receive any profit from FBA. It has a risk to uh, uh, to ask you for the documents and to, to we have one client that wait from 20 days to be reviewed. Then it, it happened in the dropshipping. I don't know if I can make a new account. I mean, not, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can create, but you need to have another level, see another Amazon account. Or, or you can buy a stealth account from somewhere. Uh, I, 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 I'm sure that, I'm pretty sure that some can give you some contacts. But we, we can't be responsible for the other people's services. Because when you buy some stealth account, you buy it from other person, not from me. It's, it's like in Amazon. We can do our best, but I'm not Jeff Bezos or... Uh, the eBay owner, you know it. It's important to say this here. Then yeah. we we always do our best, but sometimes uh, they stop the accounts. You now you see live accounts that really works with the balance. But I can guarantee that your account will be with a hundred thousand dollar sales next month. It's it's something that it depends from the system, from the search engine, from the Amazon, from the supplier, from the client. If somebody. Uh, leave you a negative review, I can guarantee. He can have a problem with his wife this morning and just leave you negative. It's yeah. not something that it's from our part. It happens. <laughs> for regret, yeah, it's always happened then. If you have some someone for stealth account, I didn't use this. Uh... I didn't like this type of uh, the way, but we have a lot of clients that some work with them. You have some money as a resource to pay for the stealth account. You are not beginner. So you can try it, but uh, yeah. we need to try it slowly because your money will be in the another wallet that it's not on your name and it's risky. It's always risky, actually. Uh, but no, 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 this is not uh, something risky. If, uh, I mean, uh, I just uh, got some points that whenever you, you know, you buy someone else uh, Amazon account, you can change the deposit method, okay? It's uh, no matter, he's not able to change until you give you the permission. And once you purchase that account, you can change the Amazon password itself. And uh, the when you buy the Amazon account from someone, first thing you need to change the email ID password. Uh, I mean, the password for email ID and also the password for Amazon account. Okay. Then you need to take uh, the evidence of account owner like identity proof, let's suppose passport or utility bill with utility bill, okay? And another thing is that uh, you, need to play, uh, you need to change the bank account immediately. Okay. And if possible, uh, change the phone number. How much How much do you think uh, one account, that account will cost? Uh, actually, uh, so far, the people who is selling the Amazon account, they are not still, okay? They are doing a professional plan, but individual account, okay? A uh, few of those are in LLC, but I come to know that the account price range is very, you know, it's a difference. It starts uh, from 500 to, you know, from up to 30,000. It depends which account you're going to buy. Yeah, something, something basic, you know, just to... A uh, basic account will cost you to five hundred to thousand dollars. Basic account. Uh, two 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 thousand dollars. Yeah, no thousand uh, five hundred to thousand dollars. Not. 2000. Ah, five hundred to thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, the idea is to to connect. Uh, okay, connect. Payment method. Something like Pioneer or something like this. Yes, yes, you can add. Okay, I think I think we can start 
with this account. Let's try for, I think, for one month. Let's see how it's going. And if I see, if I see some problems, uh, I will I will stop it and I will try to to, to do it with continue with Stealth. I mean, uh, simultaneously, if you want, you can send me some information regarding the Stealth account. Uh, yeah, obviously. Account. Listen, uh, I will give you the, uh, the the account seller guy's details. Okay, I will send you uh, his uh, Facebook link. You can talk to him. And you can chat with him, you will do your negotiation, whatever you want to do. Because I'm not taking any money from you or from that guy for the account flipping. Okay? Yeah. So it's your part to do negotiation, whatever you can. If he give you the account free, that's that up to you. And if you pay him more than enough money, it's up to you. Okay. I think we can start with this account for the moment. Uh, I see it, you can work properly with uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just just uh, send me the information how we can start. So what, what okay, for, for starting there is nothing uh, like uh, you need to just give us, uh, I, I will send you an email ID, you need to give me the permission of uh, child account, okay? okay. Then uh, I will add uh, like one or two of my, uh, my staff, okay? okay. And then that's all. We will start working. And once uh, sales get it, uh, you do you have US credit card? Uh, I I have uh, credit card. Yes. For but US credit card? Ah, credit card. No, it's actually it's not credit card. It's a normal it's normal card. It's not credit card. Uh, I mean, uh, it's US based. Yes. Yes. I I have uh, the company which the account is registered is. It has bank account and uh, bank card. It's not credit card, but it's but it's a debit card. Debit card, yeah. Okay, okay. So while we purchasing the Amazon, uh, I mean purchasing the product for sales, then we you need to give us the debit card, and you can check every sales, uh, every purchase which we are making. Is there a way to um, to send you money via bank account, and you can use your uh, Ethan, do you have US uh, bank, uh, debit card or credit card? I have both. Okay, then he said that he don't want to, actually he is not uh, comfortable to provide his uh, card. So how we can purchase? Only for Walmart we are like uh, receiving money through transfer buys. But for Amazon Business Prime, how we sort it out? Uh, what's what's because, exactly your question? Uh, because in Amazon Business Prime, when we took this account for rent, then we have to have add the card. Without adding card, you are not able to purchase. Okay. So or either you need to, uh, I mean, you need to give us a gift card, mind. So you want to use my card for Amazon purchases? Yeah. Is it possible? No. I use them already. I use all of my cards already. I need to ask my bank, is it possible to create one more for you? Because you know when one card is used and when you use it, it will be it will be a big problem. And also it will be a big mess because I will have some income from uh, Stanislav. Yeah, and I will spend money and it will be much more heavy for accountant. And I didn't have accountant in USA. Maybe Stanislav also don't have. And I need to pay my declarations myself, and it's it's, it's a nightmare. So I don't want to have extra work in the accounting, and uh, I prefer to create a new bank account, new card, or to use the service that we use currently. Just he sent money and they purchase. We uh, are we still have that option? Walmart possible. Then only Walmart is possible. Okay, we can start with Walmart. No problem. Okay, then I do not have any. Okay, but we, we can use... Uh, uh, Stanislav, are you having a US debit card? Yeah, I have US debit okay, card. Okay, where is the problem then? Why we can't use this card? Or it is your personal card and you prefer to send us money or... I prefer to send money. Okay, yeah. it's not a problem. So some, to understand you clearly, you don't have a uh, option our clients, because most of them using Walmart, we have big discount there. Uh, you de don't have an option to buy from Amazon business now if somebody send you money directly, right? Right. 
Okay, I will find uh, I will find a way for that. It's not a problem. I will speak with someone today and we'll give you the answer this evening. Is that okay? Okay, I will help with this. This is not a big deal actually. So, okay guys, uh, uh, I'm here. Uh, Sam is here. You can uh, do everything what you want here in Skype in the, our messenger. So you can start working with Sam. Or uh, if you have any questions, you can let them hear. I'm really sorry about the device, but uh, as, as I already say, uh, we need first to serve our current clients and after that to speak with next one. So uh, this is the priority. After the clients are served, we take decision, are we having time to take more or new clients? It's extra work. Every new person is is real person and we need to be uh, the, to, 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 do the, to do our best to have a good service. This is our mission. No problem. Okay, uh, if you need something, you can call me in Bulgarian number also. It, it's more easy, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, we can we can discuss this uh, with you later when you, when you have time. So okay. Yeah. And, and the last thing that I will share is that uh, I I find the clients for some, uh, but I'm not uh, I'm not the owner of the crew. Some is the manager. Some is the boss there. So if you have some problem with the service, then some is is having problem so you need to contact him uh, he can give you the messenger whatsapp you can use uh, skype whatever you want you can use his personal number in india even if you have questions regarding to the orders and uh, everything else uh, sam and uh, his team will help you this is what i'm trying to explain so okay, okay. So just yeah. and, and you send me your contact information here no problem on whatsapp i think it's okay Okay, I also have WhatsApp then. Uh, so, okay, guys, I leave you now. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, okay, I leave you now. Just keep in touch. So, yeah, we'll see how we can start and do, it, do the stuff. Thanks, thanks, guys. Um, thank <laughs> bye you bye too bye. for your time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.